you start and you stop and you start and you stop and you, at the end you never really learn any English. Now I'm here to tell you how you can stay consistent, how you can finally learn English. So first of all, let me tell you why consistency matters. My name's Abu and the English teacher from London and I teach people like you from all around the world. So why does consistency matter? And what is consistency? Consistency is the ability to do something over and over again and rain or shine. Whether you're tired or not, you do the repetitive actions every day. It could be going to the gym, doing some exercise. But here, we're going to be talking about English. You first have to understand, like learning any language, English is a long-term goal. It's not something you're going to do in a month or two. Many students always ask me, Hey Abu, how long will it take me to become fluent? To be honest, I hate that question. That shows the wrong attitude to begin with. You're already setting yourself up for failure because you're thinking about time. Don't think about time. Think about progress. How much can you progress? How much can you learn? If you think about time, you're just going to disappoint yourself. The good thing about consistency is it builds muscle memory, which means you can do the same action easily over and over again. It becomes less difficult. You should focus on small achievable goals. For example, you should try to fix at least one mistake per day in your speaking class or by yourself or whatever where you're learning. The point is, if you fix at least one thing per day, you're going to improve. In 30 days, you've improved your speaking by 30 mistakes. But if you can do more, do more. It depends on your time. But to stay consistent, maybe start with one and eventually build up, build up until you're an amazing speaker. Setting smaller goals will make you feel less overwhelmed or less, you know, anxious, etc. So small goals are a good idea. You should create a routine as well. So, for example, don't do it randomly. Do it at the same time every day. Because if you have a time and a schedule and a routine, you're more likely to stay consistent learning English. It's a good idea to set up a community or join English class to stay consistent because if you have class, you're more likely to be forced to attend. You have a commitment. I discourage, highly discourage language exchange. In my experience, people don't show up. People don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to teach. That's one thing. And don't try to learn English with other non-native speakers because they themselves don't know how to speak English. So how can you learn from someone who doesn't know themselves? It just doesn't make sense. And you should hold yourself accountable. Don't tell yourself, oh yeah, I'm going to learn English, but then you have no consequences for not learning English. Think of learning English like going to work. If you don't show up, you'll be fired. And if you're fired, you won't eat and you won't be able to live your life. English is just as important because you're learning English probably for a better life, right? For a better job, etc opportunities in the future or even just for travel the point is if you don't learn english now you will suffer in the future and financially too the next thing is do not worry about perfectionism you are a human you will never be perfect what really really is not a good idea is to think you have to do it perfectly if you think that then you're not a human because humans are imperfect instead of trying to be perfect Try to strive for excellence. Do your best in each class. Do your best every single day to learn as best as you can. Find methods of learning. If you realize you're not remembering a certain word or you're not able to speak correctly or pronounce something correctly, don't just keep doing the same thing over and over again. It doesn't give you results. Change the way in which you do things. And it's important to reward yourself. If you find consistency difficult after the first day, reward yourself. With a small thing, it could be a bar of chocolate, it could be a nice coffee. Point is, if you reward yourself for good behavior, then your brain will create a connection, a positive connection. Similarly, you should punish yourself for times you do not do what you say you're going to do. So if you miss English class or become too lazy, punish yourself by saying, I'm not watching a movie tonight. I'm not going to take a rest tonight. That way, your brain is creating the ultimate pathways to success in the English language. By the way, guys, if you're interested in learning English with me, like I said, I'm a teacher. I teach online. 
Click the link below for group or private classes, and I'll see you in class. Have a wonderful day.